Good morning, everyone. Miss Jess here from my house. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And if you can, send me a little picture or something of what you did over the weekend. I'd love to see your faces. I miss you all so much. And um, today, I'm going to read a book called Knuckle Bunny by Mo Williams. So Mo Williams wrote this book, and he also drew the pictures. And I attached to the email a little link of Lunch Doodles with Mo Williams. And in that video, he doodles or draws some of the characters from his books. And he actually reads little letters from kids like you who send him in things. Um, and there's also an email address um, for Mo Williams that if you wanted to send a doodle, something you drew to Mo Williams, you can. So maybe you might want to do that with your mom and dad might be kind of fun, but don't forget to send me a picture too because I want to see what you guys were up to. All right, so let's get to the book. It's called Knuffle Bunny. It looks like Knuffle Bunny, but I say Knuffle Bunny. So there it is. And there's the bunny right there. And we'll find out the name of this little child here. Okay. Oops. Here they go. There's mom and dad. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. There they are. And an errand is like, you go someplace. It looks like he has something here. Trixie and her daddy went down the block. through the park past the school and into the laundry mat. A laundry mat is some place if you don't have a washing machine in your house to wash your clothes and towels, you can take them to the laundry mat and wash wash them there. So that's what this little boy or girl is doing with her daddy. And I just found out her name is Trixie. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry in the machine. Look at how silly she is. Got pants on her head. And there's the daddy looking. And look at right here, Muffle Bunny. She even got to put money in the machine because sometimes at the laundromat, you have to pay for your laundry to wash it. And look who's peeking out. Can you see that? Hmm. Then they left. But a block or so later, uh-oh, Trixie realized something. I wonder what she realized. <gasps> Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Ah, Flugle! Oh my goodness, what is she saying? That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. She doesn't look so happy, does she? <gasps> Aggle, flaggle, clabble, said Trixie again. Oh my goodness, look. She's trying to tell her dad something. Help, look at. Ah. I wonder what she's telling him. Now, please, don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. Whoa! She went boneless. She turned to a spaghetti noodle. He couldn't even pick her up. She did everything she could to show him how unhappy she was. She looks pretty unhappy, huh? Or worried, maybe? 
by the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. Hmm. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Neville Bunny? And the dad is like, uh-oh. The whole family ran down the block. Hurry, hurry, hurry. They ran through the park. Look at them go. They zoomed past the school. They went really fast. And into the laundromat. Trixie's daddy looked for the money. And he looked, and he looked, and he looked. But Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. Oh my goodness, he looks so sad. So Trixie's daddy decided to look a little harder. He got right in that washing machine until Nuffle Bunny! The bunny was in the washing machine. That is so silly. <clears throat> and those were the first words Trixie ever said. Look at how happy she is. Do you have a favorite stuffed animal that you love? Maybe you could take a picture of yourself with that stuffed animal and have mom or dad send it to me. All right, well, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.